Then at lunchtime. She didn't feel the part. It's a light comedy. How much feeling can it possibly require? Just give her a few minutes, Larry. Boy, will you find out what the hell is going on, please? Yeah. 
there, oh, in the labyrinth. Whoop. Let me speak to her. <laughs> uh, what is going on, Colin? 
I'm, I'm, I'm afraid she's tied up right now. <laughs> let me talk to her, damn it. Colin, let me talk to her. Colin! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have to go. Colin! <laughs> Let's go for a walk in the garden. Let's go see if we can find any more reporters in the bushes. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know it was so pretty out here. You should get out more. You should see the sights. I am the sights. <laughs> you know? We're just like Elsie and the Young King. <laughs> what would Sir Lawrence say if he could see us now? I don't think he'd mind. But he thinks that I'm the enemy. He doesn't understand your kind of actor. He's hated the method ever since Vivian worked with Elia Bazant. It's, it's all too strange and new. So you're the future and that frightens him. No. Every time I walk into the studio, I feel a sense of doom come over me. He gives me the dirtiest look, even when he's smiling. And the crew hates me. No, that's not true. The only person I can trust is Paula. Except for you now, maybe. Phone call from New York, Miss Monroe. It's Mr. Miller. Goodbye, Colin. Goodbye. Thank you for coming. Me the truth. You'll be leaving now, I expect. I don't care if you fucks are sideways. Calm her down. Oh, hello, boy. You spent last night with Diana. I didn't spend a night with her. We had a chat. I heard them chuffling. Oh, well, perhaps Colin's very diplomatic. Madeline is more likely to behave themselves. She just wants a chum. That's a chum? chum? Jesus Christ, what is this? Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Grow up, kid. You know, I thought working with Madeline would make me feel young again. Dead in the ashes. Dead behind his eyes. I wanted to renew myself through her. But all I see reflected in that magnificent face is my own inadequacy. You know, I have my man in the religion. I fell in love with her just as you've done. 
We had ten days together, and that was it. She picked me up, she put me down. That's what she does. She breaks hearts, or she will break yours. My advice to you is quit before you get burned. I don't need your advice. Have it your way. You don't see her running again. You don't even talk to her. She's completely off limits to you. Do you understand me? Yes. I wish you'd see on Friday. Yes, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. I just, I've been so busy. I'm here. But well, you know how crazy it is. There's nothing. Of course there isn't. Marilyn Monroe found something in you. Come on. Hi. Hi, Nick. I thought you were different. Yes, I really like you. And we have, we have fun. And now it's time to set your boats a little higher. Well, good luck. Just dropped by to say Colin out to lunch. You're not taking him to Maryland. Let me drop us all in the whole ocean of shit. Oh, no, sir. Been looking forward to this, haven't we, Colin? Yeah. Okay. Have a nice time, boys. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Roger and I decided to take you on an adventure. Oh, look. 
Gee, I sure never had a doll's house like this when I was a kid. Can I? Yes, of course. This is me. That seems... And these are our kids. Oh, that doll's so pretty. If you don't work hard enough, you're whipped. No. Mm-hmm. I thought. Time to go. 
go home, I think, Miss Munro. Be careful not to get in too deep, son. The falling leaves drift by the window. The autumn leaves of red and gold. I see your lips, the summer kisses, the sunburned hands. I. Since you went away, the days grow long, and soon I'll hear old winter's song. But I miss you most of all, my darling. I love you. The next time I come on there, you better make sure you call me there. You spent the day with her. What frame of mind was she? She was fine, sir. Oh, how lovely! Well, go and find out why she's not standing here right now in front of that there's a good chat. And perhaps on this splendid day we can persuade her to do some of the work that she is currently paying herself to do. Don't start, Dickie. You may get into sleep with some moon. Yeah. She's trying her best. Oh, dear. 